Hi everyone, welcome to the Village Academy and welcome to Java One for All. Java One for All is a complete Java course. We cover the very, very beginning of the language and we go into advanced topics and throughout these 285 videos, you are going to learn everything that you need to understand the core of the language and get familiar with Java development. So this is what we are going to cover. We are going to start with the very basics of how Java works, downloading the JDK. We are going to configure the environment variables and then we are going to download the IDE, learn the first steps, we are going to learn how to organize the coding packages and then we are going to start with the very basics. So the primitive types, operators, conditional statement and loops, arrays and both dimension arrays are just the introduction for the language. And then we are going to follow into more intermediate steps. That's talking about object orientation. So we are going to talk about classes, we are going to talk about methods, uh, we are going to talk about access modifier, how to overload methods, constructor, static modifier, we are going to talk about association, we are going to learn how to read the data from the, the keyboard using the console, we are going to talk about uh, inheritance, we are going to talk about uh, how to override uh, methods, we are going to talk about the final modifier, enumeration, abstract classes, interfaces, polymorphism, and then with this, we finish the uh, basic steps about object orientation. And then we get into more uh, in depth about the job itself. We are going to start with exceptions, extremely important, especially if you are working in enterprise applications or any kind of applications. Uh, we are going to talk about runtime exception, exceptions, how to throw the final block, try with resources, custom exceptions, and then we are going to talk about utility classes. Basically, utility classes is everything that we're going to need to speed up your development. So we're going to talk about the wrappers, the string class, we're going to talk about date. Basically, we are going to go through the timeline of Java 1, how they used to handle dates, up to Java 16, how they are handling dates now. So we have a lot of content uh, on about dates. And then we're going to talk about internationalization uh, using resource bundles, regular expression, and then we are going to get into files. And then we have a lot of content about files. We have I.O. and we have the new I.O. package. So basically from the Java 1.4.0.1.38 up to 1.58 is just about files. And then we're going to talk about serialization and then one of the most important topics is collections. So we are going to talk a lot about collections because on your day-to-day -day work, definitely you are going to use collections and it's going to make your life uh, way easier than if you were just having to write everything by yourself. So we talk about lists, sorting lists, binary search, we talk about iterators, set, hash set, navigable set, we talk about map, navigable map, queue, earth queue, and then we talk about generics. If you want to work with Java and understand how frameworks work, it's extremely important that you understand how the generics concept and why it was introduced in Java. Then we're going to talk about inner classes and then we will talk about uh, functional programming. So behavior parameterization, lambdas, method reference, optionals, streams are things that were introduced on the version 8 of Java that are the real game changer. And then we go into more advanced topics. We are going to talk about threads, and concurrency. So several, I think this is one of the most uh, difficult topics in the, the whole course. We're going to talk about threads and concurrency for quite a while. And then we will learn a little bit about design patterns. This is just uh, refreshing after getting so much in depth about threads and concurrency. And then we talk about the JDBC. So JDBC is like a course itself. We have more than 20 parts. Actually, we have exactly 28 parts where we are going to start working with real databases. We're not going to use anything in memory. We're going to try to simulate as much as possible as a real environment. And for that, we're going to learn a little bit about Docker. We're going to use uh, Maven. We're going to use Lombok. And then we're going to details about how the JDBC uh, works. And to finish uh, with something very easy, we're going to talk about unit tests. And then we are going to see how we can update our JDK. And we are going to talk about uh, concepts that were introduced in Java 16, that's record classes and pattern matching. 
So as you can see, we have more than 280 classes where you are going to learn from the basics to the most advanced topics. And it's probably going to help you a lot improve your career as Java developer, or if you are someone that's just trying to get into the, the Java world, this is the best place where you can start it for free. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.